there is not really a one reason why we lost so many lives during the February 2023 earthquake in the Turkey. Uh, there are uh, several factors that uh, uh, combined combined together. One of them was, first of all, this earthquake was very strong earthquake. It lasted a very relatively longer time. Uh, it involved very high acceleration. In some stations, actually, the acceleration was like uh, 1.2, 1.4 times the uh, uh, G. And usually in the uh, typical earthquakes that we see, uh, strong earthquakes, we don't see that, that type of uh, accelerations. So the, the duration of the earthquake was long. The accelerations that uh, was recorded was high, especially near the uh, uh, rupture area, the fault area, the epicenter was, was fairly, fairly high. Um, the, another uh, factor that, this was actually a lesson that was learned. In structural engineering, we have uh, the, what is called a, a design tool. The technical term is a response spectrum. So this design tool is uh, we select it based on the importance of the structure that we design. Usually, buildings are designed for events that take place, let's say, about 475 years. And the, the more important ones, it may be about 2,700. So naturally, I mean, if you design something that happens once every 2,700 years, uh, you're going to be designing for a larger forces than compared to 475. Now, most buildings are designed for a return period of 475, so events that takes once every 475 years. And, um, even uh, if you had designed the buildings that that collapsed, actually some of them, if you had designed them for the events that take once every 2,700 years, which is for designing for much larger forces, it would have been unconservative. So uh, the design provisions that were effective, in fact, as of 2018 in Turkey, uh, was a bit unconservative because, again, uh, the, the main reason for that was that because the accelerations that were recorded was very high, more than a 1.2, 1.3 G uh, near the epicenter and so on. So uh, those were the some of the technical reasons. Um, there's another factor that's very difficult to really uh, quantify per se, and it happens almost in every, every country. It's a major concern. Uh, structural engineers can put anything they want on the plant. On the plant, design plan, they can say, use this, this amount of steel reinforcement in the column, uh, this amount in the slab, and so on. But what the contractor do, and how much steel they provide in there, what kind of a concrete they use, what kind of a steel they use, there, is, there has to be a check and balances. Um, if the adequate check and balances is not there, adequate inspection is not there, then uh, what you build uh, as build conditions may not be exactly what the structural engineer defines. Again, going back to the point that I made earlier, um, it is not so much nowadays that we see um, there's a lack of knowledge, not knowing that what we should do, but it's more of a what, uh, what has been, uh, how much as a society have we put a value in the, uh, basically the, uh, to cope with the earthquake. And part of that is the check and balances that have to be in place, the inspections and so on that has to be in place. So, and, and the Turkey, really, that area is a, is a microplate, actually, but it is squeezed between several major uh, tectonic plates. 
and uh, the earthquake is going to happen again. The earthquake is going to happen again, and uh, uh, but th those are the really I would I would uh, say uh, they were the some of the, the main reasons. There are some technical and there are some reason, uh, some faulty construction that we cannot really pinpoint exactly um, uh, how much of it is co uh, contributed. That, that those are some reason. One additional factor that again I mentioned was a liquefaction. Liquefaction was problem during the 1999 Turkey earthquake and also in 2023. Again, liquefaction is when the soil uh, turns into a liquid, and the structure that is standing on solid ground all of a sudden is is standing on the on the liquid, so it turns over, basically uh, collapses. So those are the some of the reasons why um, so many damages during the, uh, the Turkey uh, earthquake. Uh, Turkey is located in an area where earthquake has happened in the past and will happen again. Uh, in fact, there was a paper that was published in 2002 by Suleiman uh, Nalbant and John McCloskey. And in 2002, basically, they predicted the area where the uh, February 2023 earthquake took place. They even predicted approximate magnitude of the earthquake. That's gonna that's gonna happen. So uh, no, it was not surprise, and the seismologists nowadays are able to identify regions uh, where the earthquake is gonna happen, and even approximate approximate the, the magnitude of the earthquake that's gonna happen. Again, it all goes back. Earthquake is not something that. Uh, if you do everything right as a society, that uh, you have to you have to plan for it and uh, accordingly. Uh, but it's not something that we don't have a solution to how to live or cope with it. Uh, it's all a matter of a, how, as a society, we we approach uh, the, the the problem. And uh, and the. In the case of the Turkey, the earthquake is going to happen again. It's going to happen again. And uh, we know exactly what type of structures are prone to, to damage and uh, uh, what we should do so that the, as a uh, uh, country, it is resilient. Now, the, the topic of the resiliency is something that I will elaborate later on. Uh, it goes beyond just making sure that the building stands. It's much broader than that. We have to make sure that the society uh, and the, our cities are resilient with respect to with respect to earthquakes uh, and natural hazards and uh, and so and, and so on. So that's a that's a the different topic that we will be addressing. Um, we may not, we are not able, we are able to predict the locations, the magnitude, but we are not able to say the exact time when the earthquake happens. And we don't need that. Even if you knew, even if you knew that the exact time that the earthquake happens, but if you have a structure that cannot stand the forces of the earthquake, that building is going to collapse. No, we will prevent them lives because people we can go but that is not really the, the question needs to be asked uh, uh, for the to be prepared for the earthquake it starts before the earthquake happens right in the case of the earthquakes I mean you, you have to be proactive you have to be uh, you have to uh, retrofit buildings bridges that you know that are prone to the damage and make sure that the Society is resilient against the uh, earthquake. 